your first alert weather. Now we're capping off a hot day outside in many spots around the Snake River Plain, breaking temperature records, especially around Idaho Falls and Pocatello. We broke some temperature records today with numbers getting into the mid 90s this afternoon. As we go outside, I want to show you in Jackson, pretty mild tonight, folks out walking around and uh, it's also looking very quiet this evening there on the Town Square webcam. We got 67 in Jackson, 76 currently for Idaho Falls, 80 in Pocatello, 72 in Preston. We got the upper 60s in Salmon already, 82 in Chouse with 83 in Boise. Earlier today into areas of Lemhi and Custer County, we had a few thunderstorms moving through. That cooled off things a bit, also brought in some gustier winds, but as you can see here on Viper, we're not looking for much action tonight in central Idaho or eastern Idaho. But you see that stuff off to the west? Yeah, that's going to try to rotate in here for tonight and tomorrow. We even have a threat for some morning thunderstorms as we get through Friday. Here's a look at the big picture. High pressure over the four corners, but that high is collapsing. We're opening the door to this cold front, which is coming out of the northwest. That cold front is right now in North Idaho, and it's going to start to get a little bit closer to home as we get into Friday. And then into Saturday and Sunday, we'll see dropping temperatures on the other side of that cold front. Uh, Vipercast tonight will pick up on the clouds and we pick up on a few isolated thunderstorms late tonight, early tomorrow morning. You can see here just a few isolated thunder cells out there to get the day started, but more widespread thunderstorms on the move as we get into Friday afternoon. This is what it looks like around three o'clock tomorrow. We'll start seeing some buildup of clouds out there, scattered thunderstorms, and temperature wise, you're still aiming for those mid to upper 80s. So not as hot as what we saw earlier today, but it's still getting up there with the above average highs. Then we get into thick of things here, hit and miss thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon, getting around dinner time. We will look for the thunderstorm threat to be really focused, especially into the mountains, but a few off and on thunderstorms possible for the Snake River Plain as we go into late night on Friday. This is 11 o'clock tomorrow night, and we still have thunderstorms traversing the area. And we'll carry some of the thunderstorms in through Saturday with most of the thunderstorms favoring the high country around Driggs and Jackson. Winds tonight, breezy. We will see the winds pick up here around the valley overnight through tomorrow. And again, that's with the arrival of this cold front. Once we get on the other side of the cold front, we expect to see some drying conditions and dropping temperatures, but it's going to stay windy Friday afternoon, Saturday and Sunday as we get on the other side of this frontal system. The good news is with our air quality, we can push back on some of the smoke. Most of that smoke is going to be actually heading to the north of us. It's still going to be very smoky and salmon, but for the rest of us, we'll start to see some blue sky out there mixed in with the thunder showers. Highs around 71 tomorrow for Old Faithful, 74 at Canyon Village, down to the 50s and 60s by Saturday. For the rest of us, 84 for Lava, 87 in McCammon with 70 in Afton, Wyoming. 81 in Jackson with 82 for Driggs. We've got 85 in Rexburg with 80 in Island Park. Temperatures in central Idaho into the mid 80s for Salmon and Chouse. Lower 80s in Mackey and Arco. And around Idaho Falls, we've got a high of 87 tomorrow. 89 in Pocatello, 86 in Burley with the mid 80s also out towards INL. In the extended forecast for Blackfoot, look for highs here into the upper 80s tomorrow. Still pretty toasty outside before those thunderstorms show up. Then we're pulling in numbers into the mid to upper 70s for Saturday and Sunday with temperatures staying on the cooler side of things as we get started for next week by Monday. Rexburg, a high of 85 tomorrow, but then dropping down to 75 on Saturday. We'll slowly climb back to 76 on Sunday and then the temperatures fall back again into Monday and Tuesday. As we take a look at salmon, highs here at 76 for Saturday, 79 on Sunday. We'll see a slight drop in temps for Monday and Tuesday as another front will just brush on by to the north and we'll see temperatures below average for the, the beginning of the work week. Jackson high of 71 for Saturday, 74 on Sunday, upper 60s on Monday and Tuesday with a few thunderstorms in there. And then Pocatello, a high of 88 tomorrow, but then down to 76 on Saturday, 79 on Sunday with the mid 70s to lower 70s for Monday and Tuesday. Idaho Falls, temperatures here at about 87 for Friday, 75 on Saturday. And then again, a couple thunderstorms in there for the weekend, but generally the weekend is going to be windy and cooler outside with temperatures into the upper 70s on Sunday. That's actually where we should be for this time of the year, but another front's going to drop in some cooler temps for Monday. Our John Adams, GMC, Spear of Idaho, coming to us from Penny and Soda Springs, who actually took a trip up to Ketchum in Sun Valley to see the wagon days, which happened in the early part of September. So a really cool sight that the town gathers for there in Sun Valley and Ketchum, if you've never seen it, but they take those wagon trains and they right go down Main Street. So really cool there. Uh, we are going to expect to see uh, pretty big drops in the temperatures, Todd, after today. I mean, we're going into the 70s on the weekend and 